Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be running through some of the annoying things on the Toyota IQ. So stay tuned for this video. One of the annoying things that I dislike about the IQ is the fact this little light is the only interior lighting we have inside the car. There's nothing in the rear, nothing in the head, nothing in the doors, not even ambient lighting. And it's almost like a searchlight at night, trying to find things in the car, like if you drop a bottle of water or something in the car, it's quite difficult. My other gripe or disannoyance with the car is the fact that the radio is all controlled through this one button here. So if I put the capital. Thousands of car essentials from child seats to So the car, as you can see, we've got the volume control tap up and down, left and right for the radio station. And then you can push power mode to switch between different FM, AM stations. There's nothing for the passenger to control. And if you want to change a station, so we're in here, you hold power down and you have to like slip through and then you can say set one and then you hold it in until it finds a channel. And then you're not sure if that's set it or not and then you're told in to set. It's a little bit finickety. I uh, actually think I've done that wrong. I think you actually hold the button. I've done a whole video on it anyway, that's on the channel. But my main point is, the radio's quite pernickety. You can only do it when you're parked and stationary to change and set the radio preset station. Uh, it took me about a month before I went on the forum to figure out how to do it just because it totally bamboozled me uh, and it's not user-friendly at all. The sound system, though, is all right. My third and final thing is the fact there's no cruise control as an option on the IQ. As you can see, this is quite a high-level, high-spec IQ, um, apart from no heated seats, but with no cruise control at all and as far as I'm aware that's not even an option and on longer drives that would be quite nice because it's quite annoying you've been a four or five hour drive uh, having your foot in the gas pedal the whole time. So I just want to say thanks very much for watching this video on the Toyota IQ. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel below and I'll see you next video. Ciao.